Hello, I'm Cara from The Collector's Companion and we're going to be taking a look at this book of mid-century textile design by the designer Jacqueline Grogue. A flick through of this book accompanies a full review on The Collector's Companion website. So if you're watching this on YouTube or on social media, you just need to go to our website and you'll find it all under features. The front cover of this book sort of speaks to the legacy of Jacqueline Grogue, um, that she's still famous, or her work still found fame, I should say, all these years later, as this particular design um, was, which is shown again here in a different colourway, was recreated by Sanderson uh, about 10 years ago for their 1950s collection which was a fabric and wallpaper collection and they reproduced this as a fabric uh, in this in this original colorway and this original colorway as well the front section of the book which is uh, text um, covers a lot about Jacqueline's life in, in great detail, especially the earlier years. And there's also an introduction written by her assistant as well, which gives another nice uh, outlook and also another point of view of, of them beginning their career in, in Vienna and having to move to London. And it moves all the way through her life, you say, in great detail and also about her personal life as well. And this uh, picture here is one of the few pictures in the book where you'll see the drape of the fabric, uh, which is a shame that there's not more in the book like that because I think when you see a, a, dis a pattern design put into fabric and in with the body, it totally transforms the shapes that you see. And got a picture there of the Princess Elizabeth, as she was then, wearing one of the designs. And some of these uh, images are sort of quite small, but they will be revisited again in the book further, further on. And then it sort of goes all the way through her, her career. moving into the 60s and 70s with her designs for transport systems and carpets. Then we get to the plates section which makes up uh, most of this book and that is roughly chronological. I say roughly because it does start in 1929 here but then we, we have a little bit of a jump about where, uh, which is for the purposes of showing us a photo of her painted wooden dolls. And then through sketches and designs from different periods, we can see how those dolls have influenced her work. And you get some lovely double page spreads which I say in the review is a great opportunity then to sort of look for the pattern repeats and understand more about how the designs technically uh, are constructed and you've also got as well as the sketches and things you've got some of her sort of original collage work which is nice to see And this one I think is a great one because it looks so modern, it looks like sort of 80s sound systems. Not that the 80s is particularly modern now, but there we are. And you see all the sort of the repeating of, of motifs of, of the floral elements and the dolls and the grid work that keeps coming through again and again all through her career. 
I think it's the grid work that, that makes it look uh, particularly modern and sort of quite urban uh, instead of looking too folk art. Another one of her collages there. And the big images are lovely because you can see all the texture of how the images were made. And we've got some images here of her work in advertising literature, which is nice to see them in that sort of context. Let me move into sort of the later career into the 60s and the 70s and you start to see how the the color work really changes and becomes really quite quite dense and dark and to finish in the book not really quite there yet uh, you've got a, a detailed bibliography and oh, what's that that's not that that's the bibliography and also a really detailed index as well for looking up different names and different designs so if you're using it as research that's super helpful and that is it <laughs>